Okay, what's up YouTube? Uh it's your boy James and um I'm back with another video. I want to talk about the WWE network and um just I just want to say things is looking up in um 2014 for the WWE. Um I'm not going to get into what happened last year, you know. Uh know what kind of year 2013 was. It was it wasn't a good year for the WWE and the WWE has decided to get fans what they want this year finally um the wwe has pushed the button that can make fans happy again and first i want to start by saying um the first thing the wwe has got me excited about is the return of the animal day batista which is happening on january 20th um 2014 i am so excited about batista coming back to the wwe that's the first thing and the second thing is the WWE Network. This is so exciting for me because um, I am a lifelong uh, wrestling fan who grew up in the Attitude Era. And seeing um, from the days of Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, those were my two favorite wrestlers, along with Batista from the Ruthless Aggression Era. Um, some people can uh, like Hulk Hogan and Bret the Hitman Hart. Well, I wasn't around in that era. I grew up right around in the, the Ruthless Aggression Era in the Attitude Era. So um, the WWE Network gives you um, access to every single pay-per-view in history. This is so big, you know. And then you get the pay-per-views um, for nine ninety nine per month if you subscribe to the WWE Network. Um I, I really am really um, passionate about wrestling, so that's why I make my rants, you know, because I just want wrestling to be better, you know, and um, um, I'm just excited, you know, because that's when you think the WWE is leaving us. They come back and give us something that's uh, incredible, you know. This is very, very incredible news, you know, because... Um, a lot of those times in the Attitude Era, when we couldn't afford cable, I couldn't see every single pay-per-view that was in the Attitude Era. You know, I'm a strictly a ruthless aggression Attitude Era guy. You know, um, I, I can admit I didn't catch the beginning of the Attitude Era. Like I said in previous videos, it came along in 1999, but I still consider myself an Attitude Era guy. You know, and um, I can remember just having fun with my friends and just watching uh, Raw and SmackDown back, not SmackDown, but Raw back in the day, you know, this is, this is exciting news to be a WWE fan, and, um, I gave WWE a lot of hard times in 2013, but they working with us this year, you know, they trying to get fans back to being happy about professional wrestling, and that starts with Dave Batista, uh, coming back on, uh, January 20th, I, I'm so excited about Batista's return, I know what Batista means to professional wrestling. I know what he 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 means to me as a wrestling fan. So I'm excited about the WWE Network, and I'm excited to be able to access be able to access all this footage on the WWE Network. You know, and you get to see every single pay per view if you pay nine ninety nine, wait a minute nine nine dollars a month um, for this um, network. You know, I'm. I can go along and and um like through months without being able to see even one pay per view, but you get to watch every single pay per view for nine for just nine dollars a month, nine ninety nine. Um, this is uh, incredible, you know. And usually the pay per views on the TV is like sixty dollars, you know. So I I am really excited about the WWE Network. You know, and um, I'm going to try to get this, you know, access to wrestling library. And plus you get um, to watch Raw and SmackDown on the WWE Network, like NXT and all that stuff. Um, you get to go in and watch WCWs and WWE and ECWs and all that great stuff, man. Um, I think the WWE realized that fans was getting upset with the company. And they had to pull something out of the they had this year to kind of reel everybody back in. And you're doing this good with the WWE Network. That's the first thing that um that really got me excited 
You know, first it was Batista, and now it is. You know, the WWE really know how to counterpoint what they messing up. We still got the PG era. We still got the bullshit that's going on with Cena on Monday Night Raw. Um, they, the Raw is still bullshit. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> but um, they moving in the right direction with this uh, WWE Network. Um, you know, you can get it on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. You know what I'm saying? Um, stuff like that. Um, it's just it's just awesome, you know. Um, you know, WWE, you know, um, one point in our life that W... One point in our life, WWE was a major part of our life, and um, the WWE right now is trying to move in the right direction towards WrestleMania 30, and I think that this is the right move with bringing the WWE Network, and their first live pay-per-view on the WWE Network would be WrestleMania 30. Oh, man, this is great. And you know what? The good thing about this is I get to watch WrestleMania 17. On the WWE Network. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. My favorite WrestleMania of all time. On the WWE Network. You know, I missed that WrestleMania. I didn't get to see that WrestleMania back in the day. So, um, I remember the buzz at school was like none other for Stone Cold and The Rock. And, and being able to get the WWE Network, you can go in and watch that stuff. You know, and this is just, this is just exciting. Nine dollars a month, nine ninety nine, um, nine nine ninety nine, nine dollars a month for um, this is crazy, you know. Um, this is uh groundbreaking, you know. Um, being able to pay that much for pay per view access when you can't do it on cable, that's a big deal. Kudos to the WWE. For bringing back Dave Batista and giving us the WWE Network right before WrestleMania. That's when you think things was looking down and that you want to turn away from the WWE. They bring you right back in. So, kudos to Vince McMahon. This is great. Um, and we look forward to seeing the WWE Network and accessing this. You know, and um, I'm out and um, peace.